All right, folks, we are back with some more Mech Warrior 5. Well, it's been a little while, but <clears throat> we're still going. We'll get it done eventually. Um, I don't know. It's uh, it's harder for me to keep my interest in this game since I, I don't really care about the story. Um, it's basically whenever I get the uh, man, these people. Why are we working for Karita when they hate us? Uh, um, basically, you know, whenever I get the itch to just blow crap up, that's when I play this game. Um, yeah, we'll still get 10 salvage shares, I suppose. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. So, we got the king crab from the last... Fuck. I forgot to put the large laser back on that guy's mech. Um, well, anyway, yeah, we got the king crab from... Uh, from the last mission we did. Um, <sighs> Alright, well, you're just going without the fuck... Without the large laser. <laughs> that's that's what that's what you're doing. Um, I'm not going to give you... My mech, because you'll trash my... Very expensive weaponry, I am sure. But I want to try out the king crab. So we're going to do the king crab. You just won't have a laser, whatever cares i'm sure it's fine um we'll give this king crab a try uh if we like it we'll uh stick with it if not then we'll go back to our atlas and give it to somebody else and if we like it well then somebody else will get the atlas and we can finally replace this uh, battle master which is a little light on tonnage I don't even know what we're doing. It's a campaign mission. I don't know what. We just killed the, the leader of whatever edgelord mercenary faction is. Black Inferno. Um, it is very dark. Extremely dark. Right. Reactor online. Sensors online. Overhead controls. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Our targets have given our employer nothing but problems. We have been hired as a yeah, solution. Yeah, I think we'll stick with Find the, uh... And put them down for good. We'll be on standby to evac you once the job is done. Oh, wait, sure. we're supposed to go this way. All right, right off the bat, I can tell you I do not like the, uh, walking animation of the king crab. And fuck, I forgot to... Forgot to rejigger my weapon groups. That's all right. We went pretty standard loadout: two AC-20s, a large laser, and uh, I'm actually using some LRMs because there wasn't really much of anything else worthwhile to put on there. Um, Target acquired. I'm really not. I think this walking animation is just super jank. Right, what button is my large laser on? Complain about this place a lot. Well, we can just expedite this mission and get out of here. Let's do this. Hopefully, that's button three. Yep. It's three and four are uh, buttons on side buttons on my mouse, but I forget which one. Target destroyed. Okay. Don't want to let some rockets off the chain. God, yeah, I hate the way this walking animation is. Just for that alone, I'm not going to keep playing this unless it's, like, really enjoyable. But this walking animation is just... eye cancer for me, anyway. I don't know about you guys, but... Ugh. Just not smooth. Can't. There's, there's, there's got to be like something else that I'm just not describing about it. But it's like I just, I can't put my finger on what. It's so clunky and just jank. Like I. Ugh. Okay. I think. These AC-20s could have a slower travel time if they really tried. 
destroyed. Is it just me or is that slow as shit? Like that bullet is slow, right? Very crunchy sounding though. Am I not within the minimum range for the LRMs? Is it because they're stream LRMs? God damn the travel time on this. It's like worse than a fucking like... This is worse than the worst PPC. This thing... I, I'm not using this mech anymore. Uh-uh. I'm not going to be using this going forward. I want my Atlas. Take who out? What are we doing? This is assassination? Oh yeah, I think it is. I mean, it seems like I can dish out quite a bit of pain if the AC-20 shots actually hit. That's a pretty big if. Heat critical? My AC-20s apparently generate a lot of heat too. Um, well, I mean, I guess between the LRMs and the stream LRMs are pretty nice, actually. Didn't think I'd like them as much as, uh, All right, yeah, if the, if the AC-20s had, yeah, there we go, minimum range. I feel like he breaks open a case of whatever the fuck liquor that is after every other mission, or am I just going crazy? Yeah, this thing definitely dishes out damage, but... I don't, I don't know, like, the AC-20s, they just can't hit anything from a range, because we'll just, they go so slow. Big fan of the LRM-15s, though. Um, that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Maybe I should look to uh, put like uh, dual gas rifles on this instead of the AC-20s. Well, oh, sorry for whoever lives in that building. Oops. Alright, these things are so low to the ground that they can't even fucking hit this tank. Yeah, not really my style. I'll have to see... Oh, I'll, I'll try putting some, some dual gas rifles on it. I know we can get out of here, but... Um, I'll see about putting, like, some dual gas rifles on it or something because uh, the AC-20 is just the... I want it to go faster. <laughs> it's just so slow. Um, are we going to load? Anytime soon. Thank you. Oh, rub it in my face. Why don't you? Uh... It's 
I mean, we could probably put some AC-10s on there, which might be a little better too, but then you'll lose the, the crunchy damage. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll take the AC-10. Oh, those are some very, uh, very nice AC-20. Oh, talking to you. All right. Hi, Gov. Thanks for stopping by. Rihanna, I tell you I wanted a word. Well, I do, mate. I definitely do. Because the situation down here is bloody ridiculous. It can't keep going oh, on. shut up. Right? I'm paying you, aren't I? Look at Standing around like they ain't got no worries in the world, and me busting my balls to get these mechs put back together. It ain't right. You know what I mean? Not really. What are you no, I don't. About? I pay, I pay what you. What am I talking about? Oh, look, mate. No disrespect to whoever's been doing the job till now, but you got to start letting me hire my own people, eh? Seriously, this lot, they're a bunch of bloody dossers. Try to light a fire under them, and they just stare at you like they're deaf and dumb. And you wonder why I complain so much? If it were up to me, I'd fire the lot of them. Okay, I'll see what I can do. All I'm asking, mate. A bit of help, is it? Gonna get back to work now. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later. Well, that was pointless dialogue, but yeah. You're not allowed to complain. I pay you, or at least I think I do. So, shut up. Commander, perfect timing. Spears has a new mission for us. Good. Securing the connection now. Go ahead, Sebastian. Commander, good to see you. A shipping company, mostly supplying food, medicine, and materials to the outer settlements along the periphery, is being run out of business by raiders. My agents assure me that Comstar are the ones ultimately responsible for this egregious act. Paying these raiders to drive the shipping companies out of business means that people living way out here completely isolated will be forced to abandon their settlements. They'd have no other choice. We may have crushed Inferno, Commander, but Comstar's tactics haven't changed a bit. Comstar wants to consolidate their control over this region of space. Maybe they believe it contains more Star League facilities and more treasure, but I suspect it has more to do with the location of these settlements and the possibility of prying eyes. This area borders the periphery, not too far from where the ancient star map we found ends. Beyond it is the missing section of the map. Here be dragons. Indeed. Full disclosure, Commander. I intend to lay claim to any archaeological finds we may discover in the name of interstellar expeditions. The mission I'm proposing is intended to undermine Comstar and their own efforts in that same regard. Though I suspect you'd like to stop Comstar as much as I would, especially seeing how willing they are to destroy innocent lives, I still want to make sure we're on the same page. We are partners now, after all. I would burn Comstar to the ground if I could. But unfortunately, I'm just going to have to settle for Yamada's head. But if this helps that effort, <coughs> and we can do some good in the process. I'm in. And getting our hands on some lost tech doesn't sound too shabby either, eh, Commander? Not shabby at all. Good then. The company but, supply ships have been oh. hit constantly over the past few months. Their main supply depot is the next logical target. If that gets destroyed, the company will have no choice but to fold. Their margins are tight enough as it is. I need you to protect that depot, Commander. Consider it done. All right. Good luck. I'll have the briefing ready by the time we reach the system, Commander. Copy that. Uh huh. So, <clears throat> why do we hate? Comstar, they're just you know some random company. Sure, you know they hired it. I guess well maybe because they. I don't know. It always seemed like Inferno was working on their own, and that uh, whatever. I'm not gonna make. I thought they said this was out near like the periphery. That's not the periphery. Whatever. Uh, we need to find an industrial hub. There's one right there. Let us go. Unfortunately, Karita kind of hates our guts, so there's probably going to be a crazy markup. Hopefully there won't be anything good that we can buy. 
Um, yeah, I don't know, because we, we killed... Oh, they have an atlas for sale. Say less. We have a lot of money to burn, right? We can we, we shell out ten... And they have another king crab. Except I don't think I want to buy the king crab, but I'll buy another atlas, even if it is ten million... Yeah, see, Karita, 20% markup. So, what, it normally costs like 8 million? It's whatever. I have almost 60 million. Um, I think I even have something I can sell. Yeah, I have this stupid thing. There you go. Yeah, we'll buy this. We'll buy this. We'll get another. Uh... Well, fuck you. Why can't you just put it in cold storage when I... whatever. This Warhammer, that is going to be the thing that gets... What? what? Hold up. Yeah, the Warhammer. I think that's the lightest one I have, isn't it? Yeah, 70. Everything else is 75. Yeah, Warhammer. What do you have on you? PVC, large lasers. That's fine, whatever. Um, Warhammer, goodbye. Atlas, hello. Okay, let's see. First of all, we need to fix this. <laughs> uh, not with that large laser. No, sir. have that, you can have that, start to work, okay, yeah, you can repair, you can repair, and repair, whoa, that's not what I wanted, I wanted to wait, 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 okay, so now you need to get repaired as well, all right, this king crab, king crab, <sighs> Projectile speed, 400 meters a second. That's just too slow. That's, that's unacceptable. See, even the AC-10 is at like 690. Um, even the most pimped out AC-20 is only 500. Where did I even get this from? Manufacturer Death Giver. Man, that's... Uh, that's quite the name. All right, so we do have two two gas rifles. There are only a ton more. So could maybe make this work, right? They don't deal quite as much damage, but they go hella fast. Um, or you could just say screw it, leave it like this, and give it to one of my friends. That's always an option. Um, Yes, and then we have the new Atlas 7D that we just acquired. So we will paint that. Um, Alright, so I think... Alright, Atlas 7D, that's going to be ours. Uh, the RS, whatever, whatever, and then the King Crab uh, back there. Okay. So this D, we need to... Ugh. Futz with, because... Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not bad, I guess. But I feel like... I mean, that's not bad, right? Right? I really just don't feel like fucking around in the mech lab. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be just fine. Um, okay. Yeah. Should be just peachy keen. Um, yeah. Yep. 
Let's go. Came here to blow shit up, not click around in menus. At least these people kind of like us, so we can maybe get a shot at some good salvage. Uh. Alright, uh, yeah, we're not going to be taking that. We are taking this. You can keep the RS. You can get the other 7D. And you can get the... Oh, what happened to the Orions? Shit. Didn't realize they were messed up. Honk the Marauder, too. Damn. Well, it's not like we need those anyway. Um, Alright, there we go. Finally did it. 400 out of 400. Time to go fuck some shit up. <clears throat> I'd honestly prefer it if that was an Atlas on the end instead of the King Crab. I'm, just, I'm not a fan of the King Crab. Just gonna come out and say it. Not a fan. I mean, sure, two AC-20s, that's big damage, but... I don't know. I feel like it would be even worse without mods, like, if, Reactor <clears throat> if I didn't have the thing to Sensors reduce the online. amount of tanks and helicopters, Weapons like, that online. King Crab would probably just get eaten All alive, because it doesn't. Or, you know, it would have been... You know, it would have been really cool if you just Copy. dropped this off like. at the supply depot. Because it's, you know, ours. It's not a, it's not enemy. Why can't you just drop us off at the supply depot? But, um... God, this walking animation even looks like shit from back here. Jesus. Nope. I don't like it. I don't like it. Look, look at that thing. Clunky, janky, clumsy. Just all around horrible. Atlas, nice and smooth. Uh, plus, I mean, it's, it's giant ass metal skeleton. <laughs> Looks like we found a place, Commander. Now fan out and we take defensive found a place. positions. Uh, yeah, no thanks to you. Off. You dropped me in the middle of fucking Timbuktu. Welcome to Delta Checkpoint. We appreciate your help. Mercenary Lance. You don't even know who you hired. you yeah, just, oh, Mercenary Lance. Ooh. That's alright. I don't even know what the hell my mercenary outfit is called. <laughs> uh, wow, they, they are not wasting time disassembling this place. Yeah, love to, love to help, but um, they started the party without us. Is that tank still alive? Well, now it's not. Um. Again, why couldn't you drop us directly on the base, Rihanna? Hmm? Hmm? The enemy has, you know, figured out how to drive their dropships correctly, but you, you never seem to be able to. Really should have fired you. I could have saved at least 10% of the damage we've taken so far if you had just, you know, landed us. in the appropriate spot. So, 
Holy fuck, I just noticed how many things we have to kill. Jesus. 47. That is, uh... That's gonna be a interesting... Interesting amount. Why did I just fucking one shot that guy? Target neutralized. Alright, um Yeah, you can stop it with the machine guns. Hostiles are focusing on the facilities. Engage the hostiles to drop off the buildings. What does it look like I've been doing? I've already killed like 15 of these people. They're gonna do what they're gonna do. Like this idiot. And my idiot friend's taking out just as much of the base as he does. Hey! Shoot you if I goddamn want to. Additional contacts just cross the perimeter, Commander. Expect company soon. Fucking A. They keep landing on opposite sides of the base. This is bullshit. <laughs> I haven't even took out half of it and we're already like what? Stop making me ping pong back and forth. charge you fuel costs for walking my... Well, I don't actually know what kind of fuel these things take. I would assume they're, like, nuclear. So, probably doesn't doesn't take any fuel, I guess. But, still. <laughs> Tango down. Down? What the hell are you shooting at? Okay. All of that just for that little little helicopter. Good guy. Good job, guys. Good job. It always amazes me that the Centurion shows up as uh, one dot. It's, it's no slouch. Um, well, I mean, now it is because I just fucking amputated its main gun. And okay, well, maybe it is a slouch. I don't know. <laughs> Just uh, tore that guy apart. Um, you guys aren't even locking your missiles. You're just blasting them off into the... Goodness. Alright, well, we're almost halfway done, and the base is a little more than half health. Ain't no way we're keeping it above 60. No way. Additional tangos en route to your position, Commander. It's just not gonna use that. Okay, we're still alive. There we go. Uh yep. Hate the big planes. Hate all planes in general, actually. Just uh, shower our own base with missiles. That's good. That's good. There's a reason I generally don't take defense missions when I'm doing random missions on the uh, on the map. Because my friends. Okay, we're actually taking a bit of a pounding here. I 
It doesn't intersect with my position. They're on the other goddamn side of the world. If it intersected, they'd be on top of me. And because we constantly have to bounce back and forth, it means that I'm always in the front, which is why I'm getting messed up. <sighs> Whoa. What is that? What, what is that? I'm awesome. Alright. Whoa. What did I just... I don't know. to get into a long-range dual lift. Buggers. The facility is suffering heavy damage, Commander. Oh, shut up. What does it look like I'm doing? I'll walk through your buildings if I damn well want to. Mech wrecked. Wow. How long did it take you to come up with that one? more of these assholes to kill. Hostiles inbound. Brace for contact, Commander. Oh, fuck. They're right here. <laughs> Alright, now you see that. Oh, fuck. Oh, there's some heavy-duty uh, hardware they dropped in here. What the hell is that? Cyclops. I've seen those for sale here and there, but... Critical structure damage. Damage? What the hell are you doing? I literally just bought that atlas. Also, are there like planes or something? I should have gotten rid of some of the medium lasers and topped up the armor on it. Alright. God damn it. God damn it. Planes. Out of here. Engaging Lance Focus. Well, this guy's got some LRM-15s, so we actually want to get up on him. Okay, six more. Well, four from there and two right there over here. We can get the hell out of here. Olsen is actually really shot up somehow. 
What do they got? Marauder, Victor. I don't know. Bunch of junk. Enemy destroyed. Not surprised that that missed. Get out. Oh, that missed. Okay, that. Ah, damn it. Okay, whatever. Let's uh, dogpile this victor. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's a stalker. Oh, shut up! Whoa. That's right, Marauder has a shitload of PPCs. Goodbye to your entire mech. I was gonna say half of it, but the rest of you is short to follow. All right, that's all of them. Let's get the hell out again. What is this meeting? What is, what is this? Can't can't we just leave? Okay, good. Thank you. Woo! That was hairy to say the least. the hell is that? CP-10Z? Whatever it is, it's coming with me. Jeez. Well, it looks like you're the only one that lost something. Hmm. Damn, that's a lot of money. Good amount of reputation, too. Alright. Although it looks like this string of campaign missions is at an end, is now we need to take contracts and expand our company once again. So, woo! We don't have enough reputation. We need to construct additional pylons and whatever else you might want to. Uh, oh yeah, what was that? What was that thing we got? Oh, it's a cyclops. Look at that. Well, I guess we can sell. How many tons is that? 90? Yeah, we can sell one of the uh, Orions or the Grasshopper. Yeah, I think the Grasshopper. Yeah. Grasshopper, that can get sold now. Um, Alright, so uh, we're going to have to build up our reputation once again. Luckily, we got a bunch of high reward quests. There was a bunch down here that we didn't do either. So, yeah, that's going to be our implement of choice for raising our reputation. Um, I'm not going to bother with the nondescript, well, procedurally generated things, though I'm sure that these are nondescript procedurally generated as well. Um, anyway, I'm going to go get fixed up and uh, we'll have to go farm some reputation. So fun times. Anyway, that'll do it for today, so thank you all for watching as always, and we'll see you in the next one when we come back with some more Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries.